Good morning, class. Are you ready to learn new things today? Great. Let's start. Today, we're going to learn something exciting. We're going to talk about motion and how we can use something called line graphs to describe motion like how far someone travels over a certain amount of time. Does anyone here know about what a graph is? That's right! A graph is a way to show information or data in a visual form. And today, we'll learn about a specific kind of graph, the line graph. It's used to show how things change over time, like how far a person moves over a certain period. A line graph is a type of graph that uses lines to show how something changes. In our case, we will use it to show distance of over time. Think about when you walk from one place to another. If we record how far you walk at different times, we can draw a line that connects those points on a graph to see how you moved. Here's an example of a line graph. It shows the distance someone traveled on the y-axis and the time on the x-axis. We will learn how to read and create our own line graphs today. Now, let's learn the importance of line graphs. Why do we use line graphs? Well, class, line graphs help us understand changes in things over time. They give us a clear picture of how something is moving or changing. For example, if we want to know how far someone walked over a certain time, a line graph shows us exactly that in an easy-to-read way, it's like a visual map of movement. Let's look at the parts of a line graph. What can you see in this graph? First, we have the x-axis. This is the horizontal line at the bottom of the graph. It shows the time, like minutes or seconds passed. In our example, it could show time in minutes. Then, we have the y-axis. This is the vertical line on the side of the graph. It shows the distance, how far someone has moved. It could be measured in meters, kilometers, or any unit of the distance. Next, we have data points. These are the dots on the graph that represent the distance at a certain time. We plot a point every time we measure the distance. The line connects all the data points. The line shows the movement over time, showing whether someone is walking faster or, or slower. Now that we know the parts of a line graph, let's go step by step on how to draw one. First, we draw the x-axis and y-axis on a piece of paper or graph paper. Make sure they cross each other at the bottom left corner. Next, we label the x-axis with time and the y-axis with distance. Don't forget to add units. For time, it could be in minutes and for distance, it could be in meters. Now, Let's add the data points. For example, if one walked 10 meters in 1 minute, we plot the point at 1 and 10. On the graph, the x value is 1 minute and the y value is 10 meters. Once you plotted the, all the points, draw a line connecting them. The line will show how one's distance changed over time. Now, it's time for an activity. Look at this graph on the screen. Great observations! From the graph, we can see that the person moved steadily over time. The line is straight and slope, meaning they kept walking at a constant speed. Now, I want you to create your own line graph. Here is the data. Now, let's do a quick exercise. I will show you the steps for making a line graph, but they are all mixed up. Can you help me put them in the correct order? Here are the steps. First, Draw the axis. 2. Label the axis with units. 3. Plot the data points. 4. Connect the points with the line. Can you arrange them in the correct order? Great job! The correct order is first, draw the axis. 2. Label the axis. 3. Plot the data points. 4. Connect the points with the line. You all did a great job, kids! Today, we learned about the distance versus time graphs and how to describe motion using these graphs. We learned the parts of a line graph like the x-axis, y-axis, data points, and line. 
We also learned how to create our online graph step by step and how to interpret them. Remember, line graphs are an important tool for showing how something changes over time. By plotting data points and connecting them, we can see patterns and trends in motion. Keep practicing and you'll become an expert in graphing. Bye-bye kids! God bless!